there folks, I'm out at the range today with my latest acquisition, a Swiss K11 carbine. And we're going to give it a few shots today with some appropriate ammo, some GP11 ball. Don't have access to the longer range today, so we're just going to shoot this at 100 to see how it does. Alright, here's five rounds of the uh, GP11 ball at 100 yards and this is with the sight set to the 300 meter setting and the hold point was the bottom of this black bowl. So let's see what we've got in way of uh, group size. Looks like uh, about two and five eighths for the furthest spread and the other ones are Right around the, the two inch mark for the other four. The thing about these Swiss straight pole rifles is that they're quite easy to load. Got a nice big uh, loading and ejection port. You can just stuff the rounds in very easily. They work good with chargers as well, but if you don't have chargers, they load with single rounds, no problem. And here's the second attempt, once again, at 100 yards. Let's see what we have for a spread. A little bit bigger this time. We've got uh, 2 and 7 eighths inch between those two. And the other four are in uh, 2 and an eighth of an inch. So that's probably uh, shooter error, that one. It's a little bit outside of the other ones, but rifle shows some promise, doesn't shoot quite as well with that uh, GP11 as the K31 does, but it is an older uh, design. Alright, I'll uh, end up with some overall impressions of this uh, new-to-me rifle. It's a little different than shooting the K31. The shape of the trigger is definitely different and a little bit of a distraction. It's quite curved down there. But overall, it's very similar to, uh, to the K31. Sights are basically the same. Uh, weight, overall weight and length are very similar. It proves itself to be not quite as accurate as the K31, which is not surprising because this action is a little more flexible and bendy than the shorter K31 action. Anyway, it, it'll be interesting to see how this does when I get a chance to uh, try some cast bullet loads out in it, and I look forward to that in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and your comments and ratings are always uh, appreciated. We'll uh, talk to you in the next video.